Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hello. We're here for some <laughs> world's smallest games. Yes. Fun. It's world's smallest games and such, <laughs> right? Uh, I have uh, been intrigued by these toys for quite a while, but I've only ever seen them available through like resellers where they're like $10, $15 a piece. And I'm like, eh, it's a little high for me. But one of my local stores had these in $4.99 each. Nice. I can't complain. So I did pick up a few. I have some ideas. Building a game room for my friends. <laughs> uh, so here I purchased Candyland because mm -hmm. I thought all of them would actually be able to play this one. Probably not. It's some uh, some cornhole or bean bags, whatever you want to call this. Cornhole. For the backyard. <laughs> Operation. So they can Operation. learn a skill. Uh, a Ouija board because Halloween is coming Whoa. up. Whoa. So we're going to check <laughs> that out. And yes, it actually works. Hooray. Halloween is coming up, and I have some ideas. <laughs> and I found a version of Hungry, Hungry Hippos. Where two of the hippos are on vacation. Because, I mean, I love Hungry yeah. Hippos. Why wouldn't my dolls? And then this is a present for a certain unicorn. I found him in <gasps> your size. A new treasure map? Yep. Whoa. You've been whoa. carting around those ones that whoa. are enormous, so I thought you might like something whoa, just that a means little more convenient. Treasure. So this is like, what, a ring? A signet? A, um... Gem? Singular? I just thought you'd like something more convenient and travel size. I'm all about treasure. Travel and size. I am travel size. For your convenience. Can I, can I fit in our carrying purse? Wow. Okay, that got weird. I can't open this. Thanks, Brittany. All right, so I guess pick a toy and let's open this up. Candyland. Candyland it is. No! No! Um, I think we chose poorly. No, hey. What? Oh, sorry. Oh my. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of pieces. Are there? Yeah, so this is actually a playable game. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Which I find really? very intriguing. Oh, that's hilarious. It's just it just means there's gonna be some tiny pieces that are doll oh, sized. Huh. Oh, that's fun. So it's right, that, so, that is the whole So here's Candyland. Board. Here are our two uh, playable tokens. We get red and blue. Little little pieces. And these two. And there's green and yellow. <laughs> so that's entertaining. Oh, and you get the alt, like, okay, so when it says, like, yes, it actually works. Yeah, like, no, they are um, actually playable games in here. I didn't think it was, like, the whole thing. Yep. Some of them are simplified down a bit, of course, but, I mean, Candyland is pretty simple to begin with, right? Okay, well, you gotta punch out all these cards. Yes, you do. Um, they just go in half. That's gonna, nope, you gotta punch them out. Oh, that's dumb. Why wouldn't they just make it so they go in half? Um, all right, hold on. This will take a while. All right, so we do get all of the cards, but you have to actually punch them out. Like, they are dotted lines all the way around. Like, why they didn't just print this on a slightly smaller piece and just make it perforated in the middle? I guess they just wanted to give you more of a challenge. <laughs> I don't know. So it does take a while. You do have to go through and punch out all of the playing cards. But then you get... These adorable pieces! Look at those! Oh my gosh, cute! Cute, cute, cute. The box closes. So the That's box... That's my participation. Congratulations. The box closes. So the box does look like the actual Candyland game board box. It's hard plastic, so you can easily play with this a lot. It can easily go on like dollhouse shelves, or you can carry it around if you're actually playing with it. It opens and closes, and all of the pieces store inside, so you don't have to worry about losing anything. <laughs> well, you still, <laughs> so tiny, you still. Well, I mean, you're still, you. you're going to lose things if you're not careful. But everything does store inside of it, which for a tiny toy, that's a pretty great feature. Mm -hmm. The game board itself looks like the Candyland game board, and it folds in half, so it fits inside of the box, just like the, the real Candyland game board. That is super fun! It is super fun. So how do we play? Well, you draw a card. This is hard. First, you need to pick which color you want to be. Purple. Um, no, not a, blue, yellow, green, or red. Yellow. Yellow. That's my favorite color. Okay. See. And you start down here. See how it's fashioned. And then you draw a card. What? That's it. Just pick up a card. I'll help you. What'd you get, buddy? An ice cream cone. Woohoo! I win. Okay, Give you me win. The ice Yay! Cream. Then you just move if to the... he's getting ice cream, I want ice cream. Everybody gets ice cream. Ooh, this game's amazing. But all you would do is take your little token and you'd move it to the <laughs> ice cream space, which is way up there. 
Oh. Well done, Philip. I win. You win. Close enough. <laughs> Let me try this. Fingers too big. I actually really, really like how tiny this <laughs> is. It's fun. That's great. All right, and we will. Com should I like do doll comparisons at the end or as we go? Uh, whatever you'd like. I don't know. Which doll are we comparing to a board game? Her, because she's pretty. She's gorgeous. I am. <laughs> I am gorgeous. Okay, so here is my, um, she's a pop reveal Barbie. Yes. Compared to one of the Candyland tokens. She doesn't have bendable wrists, so bear with me. <laughs> Hold on. Hold bear on. with? Oh. Candyland token. Oh, she can I'd it. say that is just about the right size. Yeah, no, it's, I would agree. Holding a board game box. Yep. Just about right. And a card. She doesn't have bendable wrists, so pretend, guys. Pretend with me. The cards are a little bit big, but I would say all in all, this is definitely playable for our 12-inch doll size. Um, can she hold me? Well, of course. You need a hug, buddy? <gasps> Hugs. <laughs> hey, since you bought me a treasure map, mm -hmm. I bought you this. Here you go. Oh, thanks, You're welcome. Brittany. Oh, you got the orange snake, Naomi. Lucky. Yeah. I wouldn't open that. Nope. Thanks, though. All right. Candyland, really fun. Let's open another one. If they get ice cream, I want ice cream, too. I know, Scissors. Everyone gets ice cream. Are you part of everyone? Did you say chili? You want chili instead? Yep. Okay, you can have chili instead. That's nice of you. Cutting crew. <laughs> Cutting crew. That's right. So, uh, in reality... Oh. Sorry, guys, I'm late. Yeah. Come crew! There you go, Sherman. In reality, I would save the little plastic bags that the pieces come in so you can put the pieces back in it, and then you don't lose them. Or snakes. <laughs> or that, too. It does come with some teeny tiny rubber bands, and these oh. are for your cards and stuff. Whoa. I'm probably going to lose those. <laughs> so you can rubber band the tiny cards? I guess so. Wow. There's two of them, so it looks like they might be for cards and, and the pieces, okay. like the player pieces. You know, um, these... This is pretty entertaining. These are really like, well thought out. And you're like, hey, let's open these tiny little board game things. I'm like, yay. But um, I wasn't expecting them to be fully functional. I mean, like, that's the whole candy land. That's the whole candy land. That you could actually play. Hilarious. Meanwhile, Cornhole. The ultimate game to play for money. No. Is it? No. I thought pool was. Well, um, I just know um, that I play this. this one when I'm trapped at a lot of family gatherings and we're forced to be outside. No, you just sit and scowl. <gasps> I do not. That's what Brittany told me. That's rude. I do not. You starting stuff already? No, that was my sister. A smarter one. I don't... Oh, that sounds right. Can you want me to open this one? Look, it's conveniently in its carry case. Oh, oh so what you do? Okay. Wow. I don't think I sound like that. But yeah, open it. You do? Come on, move on. Yeah, it's even packaging right And we yeah. can see how you can save this one. Should I just go ahead and start opening boxes? <laughs> no. People like watching the scissors action. Good job, scissors! I like these. These are fun. Give me that game! Woohoo! So we get a little board. That makes sense. It looks like fake wood grain and has a cornhole sticker. <laughs> I mean, I guess that all checks out. <laughs> Brittany. Cornhole. I know that's it's the worst name ever. We call, oh, hold on, I dropped the. We bean call bag. it bean bags. It's by your foot. Nobody calls it bean bags. I do. Okay, so if you push this, you get a little stand, so it stands up just like it's supposed to. <laughs> Yay! That's fun. All right, so we have this. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Come on. And then we get four little bean bags: two red and yellow, two blue and yellow, <laughs> and they're felt. Feel them. There's beans in yeah, there. Yeah, and there's actual. It feels like beans. <laughs> that's hilarious. And you can play. No, you're doing it wrong. This I is... know, but I'm not Here. facing that way. You can turn a little bit in your chair. I'm red. Ow. Well, don't stand so close to the button. This is actually really hard to do. You're doing better than me. Nice. Five dollars. I win. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I'm going to try. Okay, here you go. This one's fun. No, no, we don't throw Bruce like that. He's amazing at sports. He is, but we don't have to throw him. Well, how else am I going to win? I don't know with your horn. Uh, okay. 
perfect. What it? is she doing? This. Why? <laughs> Don't even bother asking. Okay. <laughs> it's just Brittany. It's just Brittany. All right. Jeremy, so... you want to play? I don't want to touch your guys' cornhole. Wow. All right. So, a 12 inch doll. Very tall next to these. Um, I would say this game might be a little too small for our 12 inch mm, dolls. It's yeah, definitely, this is a lot of definitely out of proportion for these guys. But for Brittany, mm, who is mm, about a four mm, inch mm, doll mm, size, perfect. It is definitely perfect for a four inch doll. So I will also lump in like Chelsea dolls with her. It's going to be the, a good size for a Chelsea doll too. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's neat. These boards you can throw anything at and try and get it in the hole. No, we're not going to do that. All right. Okay, everybody. Bow, 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 bow. No, put scissors no. down. Brittany. Brittany. You got Philip over there. Bring Brittany. him over here. Bring him over. No. <clears throat> okay, so that one's super fun. Four inch doll sized. On to the next. Operation. I bought this one just because I thought it was really fun. I really did. <laughs> That's got the old school graphics. It's just fun. Like, these to me are pure nostalgia just because they do look like the games I remember. I'm really enjoying all of these very, very tiny features. Oh. It's just great. I, he has a light bulb nose. Does it actually, like, like is there a battery in here? Does Maybe. Let's work? find out. Open it and find out. And it yeah. says, yes, actually works. Open it. That's like a beak. Do it! Come on, scissors! Come on! Chomp, chomp, chomp! Faster! Come on! Oh my, we need bigger scissors! What? Mm -hmm. Come on, jumpy what? chomp! Come on, strike! Well, oh, we're not gonna get rid of you. We love you too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, just chompy chomp, man. Was that easy? Sorry, I just really <laughs> wanna play with the toy. I'm overexcited. Why bigger scissors? That's rude. Well, the packaging's a little fat, I mean. <laughs> Woohoo! Operation. Here's Operation. Here's our game board. Can okay. I play Operation? No! No, you cannot. Nope. Mm -mm. Put, for one, Brittany, do not handle scissors. Never. You're not allowed sharp objects. What about my horn? I'm allowed that. That's as sharp as you can get. Brittany, you are currently as sharp as we allow you to be. Is that a smorts joke? And here's Philip, safe and sound. Don't worry. He's sitting by me. <laughs> Rude. Let's take a look at this operation game. So does it have the cards? Because before you are supposed to like draw a card. No. Oh, oh. But it does have this. Fan oh. Removed for my safety. All right, here we go. So it doesn't have the cards. I guess he must just take turns. Here we go. Who, who's going to go first? Hold on, the Charlie horse is out. There we go. Who's going first? I'm going. Okay, go ahead, the Catherine. Perfect. Did a great job. It's a box. I wanted to do it. I can do this. Oh, I can't. I, I totally lost. Yeah, I totally lost. Hold on. Let's see what he looks like first. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is that amazing. Is that is totally worth $5. Why did I wait so long to buy these? <laughs> you guys are great. Love them. Butterfly from your chest. Oh, you did it. Oh, job. look at, look at. They're like stuck. They're like zip tied. Oh, so you too, can't, so lose, you can't them. lose them. I mean, I guess you could just get rid of you those. Could, you could cut it off, I guess, if you wanted to. Well, but... I think you can. Yeah, well, you know. Come on, guy. Have a heart. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is great. Let's grab that horse. I think it's too hard, honestly, because they're connected. Oh. It really does offer a whole new challenge to the game. <laughs> you, you might want to snip those off, I guess. Yeah, but I guess you might want to. fun for the time being. Yes. Did I win? Uh, totally, Catherine. Totally won. What did I win? Uh, cheese. No. Oh, you don't want cheese? What did I win? Cheese. Is it a nap? Yes. Oh, okay. The winner is me. It's true. The winner is you. I was just saying, it looked like you could open that, but you can't. <laughs> Okay, so that's the operation game. So the pieces are attached to um, little ties so you don't actually lose them. There's a space for the tweezers right up top. For those of you who want to hear that soothing sound again, here you go. Love that it lights up and has the buzzer. Put the tweezers in the top and it slides out and folds over. If you're careful, be careful. There you go. 
So it stores just like a boxed board game. Can I like horn his organs out? No. Mm. But how fun is that? That's super fun. Okay, so that one's great. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to light up and buzz and everything like that, so well Let's done. Let's do the standard board game first before <laughs> we get to Brittany's stuff. <laughs> Scissors. How hungry are those hippos, and what are they eating? Would they like to slice up their life? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Oh, okay. Um, Hold on in here. Is this what? A is this a checklist? <gasps> Have we been checklist the whole time? I don't know. I guess You're so. just getting there now. Yeah. We miss stuff all the time. I got a little upset so last video oh about like checklists. But don't I'm get good upset, now. Sherman. Sure, I'm, We're fine. I'm fine. We're here. We oh, okay. Just so don't you is... besmirch the checklist again. Sherman, stop. No besmirching. Just take a deep breath, man. Okay. You're fine. All right. So this is the world's smallest. So it has an, the giant checklist. <laughs> So here are all of the tiny toys that you can find in all kinds of varieties. Uh, here's a DDR, an Atari, Hair Dorables, Barrel of Monkeys. I mean, they got all kinds of stuff. Here's the miniature toy, ba toy boxes and wacky packs, tiny arcades. All of the different things you can find that are on brand for them. Also, Tiny Operation, Tiny Scrabble, Tiny Hello Kitties and Care Bears. Oh, my. Smallest or the arrow, oh, either one. That was amazing. That was a lot of checklist. That was way too much. Wasn't um, it? Can we get the Dance Dance Revolution? I'll totally. Show you my sweet moves. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, why, oh, why, I will be a butterfly. Something, something, something. He Green, know. black, and blue with the colors. Something colors of the sky. I don't know. Oh, you, why, you, why. Red, black, and blue? Green, black, and blue. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It's been a really long time since I listened to some Smile DK. <laughs> All right, so here is Hungry, Hungry Hippos. We are getting two hippos because, I mean, it's tiny. Let's give them a break, right? Because we need a place to put the, the, the flippers for our marbles. Oh, fun. Well, did hungry, the, did hungry the hippo hippos. <gasps> Whoa. I think we need to play some hungry hippos. Hold on. Can I play against you? Sure, man. Let's do it. You can do this. Ow, ow my eye. What? That doesn't even make sense. I tripped. Oh, um, all right. I'll play hungry hippos by myself. I'll play. Okay, it's done. It's done. I win, I win, I win, I win. What do I win? What's the prize? Um, hugs from Sherman. You should like tell people the prizes before they play. You didn't ask. <laughs> all right. So to reset the game, each side has a little lever. You push it down, and it'll shake all the marbles that your hippo ate right <laughs> out of it. Hilarious. Yeah, that's uh. That's fun. Is it the best version of Hungry Hippos? No, it's not. That's the original with the glass the marbles is the but best, yes. The recent release that we bought for our son, like, what, 10 years ago? Yeah. it was all plastic. This is way better um, than that. With, like, better. the detachable hippos. Better. This is actually better we than the version with the detachable marbles hippos. And it didn't work worth anything? Yeah. This is better than that one. Also, just go to a Did vintage you see store. How he censored himself? Yes. Work worth anything? Well, well done. done. Thanks, Jerome. Theodore! You can at least learn his name when he's complimenting you. Hungry oh, hippos, always a classic for a reason. It's hippos, and they're hungry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hungry uh, oh, for some sorry. marbles. Doll size, doll hungry, size. Hungry, hungry hippos. My doll. Here she is. Oh, yeah. No, she's a good size. I would say this one is yeah. a great size for a 12-inch doll. They can I'm totally winning. play some hungry hippos together. She comes in here all, like, fancy with her roller skates. Yeah. You're, You're in my house. Hippo house. All right. Yay. Real small squeegee board. If you are opposed to this, go ahead and just fast forward into the next section, which will be color forms. So, you don't have to watch. It's okay. This one, again, I picked up for a Halloween segment that I was interested in doing because I thought it would be fun. And it was one of the rare times I actually saw this on the shelf in the store, so I took advantage of actually seeing hooray, it. Hooray! Also, you know, Brittany. Mm -hmm. Or he could be like Brian. He doesn't believe in any of this stuff. Stop it. He doesn't. All right, so here it is out of the box. It opens Hooray. it has a handle i don't hmm. know what the handle's for but for okay. easy carrying perfect um it doesn't want to open i think it's sealed oh okay here we go there's your <laughs> really really <laughs> tiny board hilarious and oh there is a drawer for your <laughs> little planchette Wow, that is tiny. Come on, I want to talk to Slimer from Ghostbusters. Slimer? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, mean, like, I, guess I like okay. him. I like the cut of his jib. He slimed everybody, got him all gooey. He ate a lot of food. Good stuff. Do you think he'd go to Red Lobster? 
And let's find out. Um, Slimer, will you go to Red Lobster with me? Three. Perfect! I don't know what that means here. Hold me up a second. You um, have a doll stand. Here. Yeah, but... Uh, but I don't like those binds on my legs. Fair enough. Um, Slimer, don't touch I was me. helping! No. Rude. Slimer! He already said three. Yeah, I don't... What does three mean? Show yourself! F. Okie dokie. <laughs> Hold me up a sec. Oh, now you want me to help you. What is happening ah! now? Hi, Philip. Our plan worked. We there scared her off from, like, that board game thing. Well done. High five. High five. Now a hug. We had a plan? <laughs> I didn't know this channel ever had a plan. All right. Yeah, the plan was let's go get french fries. All right, Joel, let's go get french fries. Hooray! All right, so that's it. That's a very tiny Ouija board. It looks just like its larger counterpart. <laughs> If you're offended, I apologize, but Halloween is coming, so there you go. And it's tiny. Oh, wait. Always say goodbye. Right? That's what the horror movies have taught me. Brittany, come say goodbye. Is the ghost still here? It's a goat? Gone? A goat? There's goats, too? Goats! I think you're supposed to say goodbye. Bye. There you go. Perfect. Six. Um, that's what horror movies taught me. <laughs> I've never owned one of these before today. It also folds up and will look just like a Ouija, a board Ouija board. Ouija board horror shelf. movies. Yeah, um, there's a lot of them. One was good, and I think it was the last one, like from like four or five years ago, where it was like set in the '60s. It was good. We're back, color the forms. Oh. I'm listening. Ouija oh, board in thesis. from why from the '60s. That was being rude to Jerome. I guess I could talking about Ouija board. Where'd, where'd that other Swift Mellow Yara the Pirate go? Yara? Oh, she's over there. Yara. Yara. She'll help me solve this. This piece fell off. <gasps> Trisha. Wow, this is really tiny. Wait, is this a... Is this part of the map? Or is this just trash? No, that's part of the map. Oh, okay. Don't lose it. I'm gonna... Wait, no. It's like all these what? pieces are falling off oh. of the map. Pieces. Okay. So here we have... Um, obviously my rectangles fell out already. The color mm -hmm. forms book. What? If I were to close oh, no. it, it looks like this. Oh, fun. Weird. It has, a uh, like rings, like a notebook. I am not familiar with this form of color forms. I am not either. Oh, there's pages oh, and you fun. can put your shapes on and make faces and scenes. <gasps> and people? Oh, okay. That's fun. All right, Brittany, here you go. Pull the back out of at the face, look for the fire guy star. Fire guy star. Who's okay. hanging out with Dermy. Mm hmm. And Phil. Phil's <gasps> the answer to the treasure. I'm out. It's double sided. Oh, okay. And then there. You said, I think you're supposed to take your car. I think that's roller skates. Oh, okay. So bring her back out with the roller skates to the factory where you'll meet the sun god. Or Looks like a, a cat. Dog. Oh, wait. Catherine holds the answers? <gasps> <gasps> Catherine. <gasps> All right, and then on the other side, you get your pieces, which all come out of this little thing. This is almost, I need to finish. No, no, we out. finally solved one of these. I can't wake her up. She's taking a nap. You got to come back later. Wow, it's really hard to put these little, little <laughs> tiny pieces back where they belong. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you have to remove them from the, the film? <laughs> but my rectangle is like, my rectangle got cut weird, so it's shorter. And I only have the one. Okay, so I went ahead and removed all of my shapes from the protective <laughs> red case. And I noticed something amazing. There's a blue page. Oh, whoa. And a yellow page. Oh, my. And a black page and a green oh. page, but I think I missed it. Yeah, green. there's a green page. Oh, no, I'm, I'm dropping <laughs> dots. I'm dropping dots. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they don't stay in the greatest, but there's also plain black pages so you can make your own designs. So why does Brittany keep thinking these are treasure maps? I mean, is she um, finding anything? I think you can stop it at why does Brittany think? Mm, how does... Well, I don't know how she thinks. It's impossible. Uh, yeah. But it all conveniently closes up so you don't lose your pieces. Just be careful when you're tipping it up to show people. 
This is amazing in so much detail. What did you tell that Britney girl? I t usually tell her nothing. I, I, I don't try to... I don't know, Catherine. Well, she, like, woke me up and dragged me away about a treasure. Catherine, just give her the stuff and let her what go stuff? on her way. I don't know. Whatever she thinks she you have. What'd you find, Brittany? I found this. Yeah. Catherine was like, look over there, dummy. And I was like, okay. A giant treasure box. Wow. Booyah. <clears throat> um, by the way, I own scissors now. No. Nope. Two gems. Nope. Sorry, no. But look at it, I finally found the treasure. Brittany, that's from a Halloween costume from 10 years ago. What? Yeah, those are, are rupees. These are fake? Sorry. I made them. <laughs> see, I'm you can go have a talk with them. You cat. can even see where they're glued together to be double sided. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, leftover Halloween costume, but great job. And yet, a real doubloon. That might be true. All right, so that was a whole bunch of uh, world's smallest games and a whole bunch of rupees Don't that I made off. for a certain person who needed them for his costume. Uh, this one, which of course is controversial, so yep. Sorry, not Apologize sorry. <laughs> for that in advance. However, Operation, Candyland, Hungry Hippos, and this cornhole game. All fantastic when they're tiny size. Mm -hmm. I like the tiny size version a lot. Those were super fun. I really enjoy that they are actually all playable games and they're going to look fantastic in the dollhouse. And that the majority, they're all doll sized. All of these will work for a Barbie doll, but this little cornhole game, this is definitely like a Chelsea doll and smaller. Either way, that's fantastic. And this color forms, there's so much detail in there. That's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, you set your sound out with actual gems. These are real. Sure, Tim. Sure. Listen to the gemologist. Seriously, he dressed up as Link for Comic-Con <laughs> and was trying to barter with rupees. I've never been so proud, really. Did he get anything? No, but it was really, really cute. The vendors were really nice to him. <laughs> it, was, it was the cutest thing ever. Tom Cook was amazing with him. And then the Spider-Man, the guy who drew Spider-Man... No, remember we took him to Comic Con and he was talking to all the artists. Mike and Zach, That's Mike what Zach and his wife were fantastic with him. They were just adorable and chatting him up. And, and I got to meet Neil Adams. Yes. So, uh, yes, these I got were a black canary, green arrow picture for you. It's true, and it's pretty fantastic. If you know us at all, you would understand it. <laughs> all right, so here you go. Uh, this is an old Halloween costume which was recycled for Comic Con, and it was hilarious. And uh, these are world's smallest games. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. Hands down, totally worth it. These are my fun. Bedding box back now? I like sleeping on these. They're comfortable. Are you a dragon? Why. I thought you were a cat. Both. Live your best life, Catherine. Yeah. Works wanna, for me. Wanna meet my new boyfriend? Here, hold me a second. Oh, I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't... I don't need to. Hi. Charles? Mm -hmm. All right, Charles! Yay! Yay! Are those your gems? You're a dragon. Dragons love gems, don't they? Yeah, we do. Oh. That's why I was attracted to her initially. I was huh. like, she's got some coin. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't think you should. I don't think. No. He's Catherine. Oh, well, whatever makes you happy, you know? Live your best lives. All right. That's all I got. So that was World's Smallest. I think they're pretty fantastic, and I'm definitely going to add more to the Dollhouse Game Room, which hopefully I will get around to filming soon because um, yeah. it's fun nine out of ten i wasn't expecting a lot of it to work i wasn't expecting actual beans in the bean bags <laughs> there's so much i wasn't the expecting this to amazing. buzz the this amount of detail great. in the color forms yes um although this one really while great very ridiculous it really does like, have tiny pieces you're gonna lose like and that's why it only gets a nine out of ten and this one's actually really these. hard to open Look which i can't handle it yeah i mean my my paws are pretty tiny and even those were it was difficult and this one's actually the hardest to open which i understand why but it's really hard to put this one little tiny red <laughs> dot back in and i keep trying to stick it to the cover but it just wants to stick to me and See? there you go don't there you go. sneeze while playing and that's all i got this it really was amazing these are great. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy with these purchases. Super fun toy. I mean, if you like tiny things. If you don't like tiny things, I don't know why you're watching this video. Just for funsies? Just for funsies. Mm -hmm. And that's all I got. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Well done. You had her believing this treasure was fake the whole time. Good job. Ha 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 ha.
I can't laugh maniacally. Well done. You kept the treasure safe by making her believe it was fake. That was a good story you made up about your kid in Halloween, <laughs> right? Or Comic-Con. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, which way? Way to save the treasure. I don't know what to say here. All right, then. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Uh-huh. What am I supposed to say?